If you had to choose to fall into the arms of someone in a crowd, wouldn't you rather fall into the familiar arms of a friend? Well, that's how antigens bind antibodies on a solid surface. What is an antigen? Well, they can be parts of a bacteria or a virus that invades our bodies, or even certain ingredients in food. Um, basically, they're foreign substances that products of the body's immune system, such as antibodies, are able to recognize and bind to. In fact, antibodies can only bind antigens that they recognize as familiar, and it's the ex exclusive match that forms the basis of the many innovations in biomedical research. Particularly for my research, this specific recognition of antibodies to antigen can serve as biomarkers or signatures of a particular disease. Um, these biomarkers can be turned into a simple diagnostic test, like a pregnancy test, but for identifying whether someone is sick with an infectious disease using a single drop of blood. Now, in many cases, these antigens and antibodies recognize each other better than you would recognize the face of a loved one in a room full of strangers. But other times, antibodies recognize an similar but different antigens the way you might mistakenly um, recognize the brother of someone you met at a party recently. So this is a common challenge um, for developing many diagnostic tests, but especially for uh, tuberculosis, an infectious disease that afflicted 10.5 million people in 2016, but mostly in poor areas. So this is because the bacteria that causes TB, um, mycobacterium tuberculosis, has many relatives. Mycobacterial cousins, um, who many people's immune systems may have met before in the environment. This gives rise to false positive results um, and reduces the accuracy of an antibody-based test, especially in places where tuberculosis is common. And unfortunately, because of this, um, we're still stuck with methods that are difficult or time-consuming, like using the microscope um, or growing the bacteria or detecting the bacterial DNA. And these methods will miss most people with TB because these people tend to live in areas without lab um, facilities. So because of this, I am researching key tuberculosis antigens and how different people's antibodies respond to them. Hopefully we can discover a specific antigen antibody um, match that can be used to develop accurate diagnostic tests. Cheap, simple tests that you can use um, in big hospitals um, or even in quiet health posts in remote villages. So such a discovery could mean the difference between treatment and cure or a disease and spread of someone with TB in the community. Such a discovery could be an antibody antigen match made in heaven.